Hi everyone, Claudia here and welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a quick one. I wanted to talk about how you can print out documents without owning a printer. So I wanna give you some ideas and suggestions of ways to get your documents printed even if you don't have your own printer at home. Most documents these days are electronic. You can sign things electronically, send things electronically, but occasionally you are going to have to print something probably, and not all of us have printers. So let's get into some suggestions of what to do if you find yourself in this situation. And if you like this video while you're watching it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get started. So we're obviously going to talk about options for printing, but the first thing we need to talk about is making sure your document is properly prepared and saved either on your computer, somewhere like Google Drive or on a portable drive, either like an external hard drive or a thumb drive. So my recommendation for this is to save your document as a PDF, no matter what file type it is, Usually any place you'll be printing will be able to print a PDF. If you don't know how to change your document to a PDF, I will show you an example of a Microsoft Word document. So if you go into File, Save As, you'll name your document, and under File Format, you'll change this to PDF. And make sure you just remember what folder you saved it to on your computer, and then click save. You don't absolutely have to save your document as a PDF, but just know that if you don't, there might be some document types that aren't supported by some printers. But PDFs are fairly universal in that regard, which is why I make that initial recommendation. Okay, so now let's talk about some options you have for getting your document printed out. Obviously, if you're in school or work in an office, you should see if you can print out your documents at your school or at your workplace. But what if that's not an option for you? I've printed out plenty of documents at FedEx and have never had an issue with them. So I'll do my first example with FedEx. So if you go to the FedEx website at the top, you'll see design and print and then click upload a print ready file. I usually go to document printing and copies and custom projects and then just click get started. You can just drag your file into the box here. As you can see at the bottom, you can use Google Drive, Dropbox, or your computer. So once we upload the file, we'll be taken to this page right here where you can change the size of the document. There are different sizes, different paper types. FedEx definitely has the most extensive range of paper types to choose from of all of the places that I've printed out at before. So as you can see, there's more professional kind of specialty papers and they even have colored cardstock paper that you can print on as well. Then you can choose if you want full color or black and white. And then at the bottom, you can actually put custom instructions if you have anything specific. And then once you're done, you'll just click add to cart. Once you check out, I just usually check out as a guest, you're gonna enter your location, click continue, and then choose the store that you wanna pick up your order at. Click continue, and then you're just gonna fill out your contact information, your payment information, and then you'll click continue until it says submit order. If you don't have a FedEx near you, I will show you how to do this on Staples next. So if you go to the Staples website and click document printing, simple print, and click start project. Again, you can choose from your computer, Dropbox, Google Drive, and here are all the supported file formats. So we're just gonna upload from my computer again and click continue once it's uploaded. And then here are the different size options, the different paper options, as you can see, color or black and white. And if you need more options, you can use professional print and then just choose delivery when you're ready. I just continue as guest, enter my location, click search, and then done once you've chosen your store. And as you can see, you can pick up for free. Then you'll just continue through the checkout You'll confirm your store location, enter your payment details, and when you're done, click place order. Another place you can do prints at is UPS. You go to the UPS website, click print, and then scroll down and click print online. Click get started with copies and quick prints. Enter your location, choose your store. 
and then choose which size you want to print out and then get started on the left side here you'll choose your black and white or color the type of paper that you want there's only a couple options on UPS and then you'll upload your file here with add files click done once it's uploaded you'll name your job and specify quantity and pages and click add to cart. Then once you go into your cart, you'll just choose your date and time you wanna pick up. And then proceed to checkout. Then you'll just enter your payment method and click place order. Walgreens is also now offering document printing. It says this is new. I don't know exactly how new this is though, but let's look at Walgreens next. So if you go to Walgreens and click prints, as you can see, new document printing, and you'll just have to click upload file right here. And as you can see, all of the accepted file formats are on the right, and we're just gonna select a file from the computer. Once it's uploaded, you'll be taken to this page where you can make any adjustments. As you can see, Walgreens only has eight and a half by 11 or eight and a half by 14 and only a couple paper options. So once you choose all of that, click proceed to cart and then you'll just proceed to checkout. And kind of the same as all the other ones, you'll just enter your location and click find a pickup location and then enter your payment information, review your order, and confirm it. And finally, let's look at CVS. If you go to CVS photo and click prints, you'll just click upload file here and upload your document. Here are again the accepted file formats. We're just gonna upload a document and CVS actually doesn't have any options. It just automatically will make a decision based on what you uploaded, so keep that in mind. Then you'll click proceed to cart and same thing. You'll find your store, click pick up here, and CVS is a little different in that you will actually pay in the store, so you'll just click check out, review your information, pay once you get to the store, and click submit order. And lastly, if you live near a public library, they should have printing services as well. So make sure you check out your local library. And if you're still struggling, I would recommend getting a thumb drive. And if you don't know what that is, they're fairly inexpensive if you're just using it for documents. So you can just save a document to your thumb drive. Like I talked about earlier, when you're saving it, just remember where you put it. And one of the options will be saving it to an external drive. So once it's saved on there, which you can check to make sure it's on there before you go, you can take the thumb drive to a place like FedEx or UPS or Walgreens and the people there can help you print. These days, printers have become relatively inexpensive if you don't heavily use them. So if you did decide that you wanted to get a printer to save you the hassle of having to go to a printing center anytime you need to print, there are printer options in a wide variety of price points and you can probably snag one during a Black Friday sale this year. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And as always, share it with a friend or family member who you think could use this information. Leave me a comment down below if you have a printer at home, if you always print out at a printing center. I'm curious to know what everybody does for their printing needs. If you're not already subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.